As the drawing specialists, blueprints, draftings, and engineering drawings are our lifeblood. And it's not just us. These drawings are used to guide projects and renovations, track changes, establish a budget, and even more. But have you ever thought about how these drawings came to be? What was the first engineering drawing? Which historical figures have created and made use of them? In this video, we are going to answer these questions and more. Let's dive into the history of engineering drawings. The earliest known instances of engineering drawings can be traced back to around 1865 to 2000 BC. A fossilized plan was found from this time showing an aerial view of a Babylonian castle. Later on in 2200 BC, another early example of an architectural drawing was carved into a statue of Gedea, the ruler of the state of Lagash in southern Mesopotamia, who ruled circa 2080 to 2060 BC or 2144 to 2124 BC. To honor him, a plan for a temple that he had commissioned was carved into the statue's lap. Much of our knowledge of ancient architecture and engineering comes from much later on in history, during the Renaissance period. Prior to this time, architectural drawings were rare. Even during the Middle Ages, the concept of scale in architecture was relatively unknown. These drawings were a guide, but not necessarily an exact science. Still, breakthroughs were made. For example, Today, most people know Leonardo da Vinci as the painter of some of the world's most famous works of art. In actuality, da Vinci was a Renaissance man in more than just one sense of the word. In addition to his talents as a painter, he was also a draughtsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, and even an architect. Due to his encyclopedic knowledge, he had a constant stream of ideas for inventions. Many of these ideas were manifested in blueprints that we still have access to today. Among these early draftings were concepts for weapons, two different flying machines, a boat, and an armored car. With the Industrial Revolution of 1760 to 1840 came even more advancements in the world of engineering drawings. The growth of heavy industrial materials such as cast iron, steel, and glass opened up great possibilities, and the architects and engineers of the time were eager to adapt. The introduction of scale in architectural drawings was said to have come about early in the Industrial Revolution in France, where the imperial cult of Napoleon built the Roman-inspired Church of the Madeleine. To bring things back to a more modern time frame, the introduction of CAD, or computer-aided design, began with Dr. Patrick J. Hanready in 1957. Hanready developed the first commercial numerical controlling program system. Later on in 1960, the technology was advanced even further with Ivan Sutherland's Sketchpad, which demonstrated the basic principles and feasibility of computer technical drawing. Today, CAD systems are widely used throughout the industry and could even be said to be the standard. Blueprints, draftings, and engineering drawings have come a long way and experienced many changes and advancements over time, just like your facility itself. Regardless of these changes, however, the purpose of these drawings has always been clear to document the story of a facility. With something as important as this, shouldn't you do what you can to protect your own drawings? Build your digital library and preserve your facility's history in the safest and most accurate way possible with DCM. Speak with a drawing specialist today and we'll help you create your customized drawing management strategy.